Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. And the Integrity Train keeps on a running on our channel. We have another Integrity doll to review for you guys today. And this is another actually very, very special release. Um, we are reviewing Spun Sugar Misaki from the Fashion Royalty Nippon line. Um, if you watched our last Integrity review from um, Fashion Royalty Nippon, we also reviewed Mint Cool Misaki, who was an exclusive release to the W Club, and she was a limited count of 300. And this doll is also a 300 count. And uh, what's special about her, though, is she... So essentially, US Integrity Toys fans were only notified about her initially directly through the W Club. Um, essentially because there was an opportunity for people in the U.S. to purchase her. Um, there were a couple Japanese manufacturers and some select dealers who sold her, and Sang and I were lucky enough to refresh the web pages long enough and do enough digging to track down um, one of the Azone, who is the Japan-based manufacturer and dealer of Integrity Toys, among many other toy brands. And we got her here in the United States. Um, so it's very, very we special. We got her shipped to the United States. We had her shipped to the United States, yes. We're going to go ahead and start off with the packaging. Um, like Mint Cool Misaki, um, Spun Sugar is in pretty basic packaging. It's just like an outer white, you know, shoebox cardboard like most Integrity toys. Um, the the Nippon ones of the, uh, the Misaki, though, it's... Um, this packaging is like identical to um, to Mint Cool. They're part of the same line, essentially. So um, you know, and they're sticking with the sweets and sugar theme. Clearly, um, I think they go even further with it with her, as we will show you once she's out of box. And uh, it's cute. You know, it's a very '70s vibe. They have some openings, and so you know, it's like little plastic windows where you can see her and little Fashion Royalty Nippon icon on the front and the side and the back. And that is it for the outer sleeve. So we'll go ahead and take that off. And here is Spun Sugar Misaki with her sleeve removed. Oh, she looks so lovely in box. It's like- I love all the colors. Gorgeous. Yes. And the fact that, um, you know, the Nippon line has like kind of a, like a metallic like background. It's really cool. It makes it yeah. pop a little. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, these the Misaki dolls pop are much more colorful, it seems, you know, in pastel than your average run-of-the-mill integrity doll. So we are going to take her out of box and give you guys a close look at her. Alright, so here is Spun Sugar Misaki out of box. Stunning. Yeah, we're at my we were admiring her mm -hmm. while we were unboxing her. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah, she has the Misaki face mold, which is exclusive to Fashion Royalty Nippon dolls. Um, I feel like in this release it looks very different though. I, I almost feel like her... Well, her face screening is different. I mean, that's what makes yeah. some of the dolls different. They have the same face mold, but the paint and the, the shape of the eyes are different. Yeah, I feel like the way her eyes are in this one too, um, I don't know if it's the... They're kind of half close compared to the other girls. They're like more seductive than Mint Cool, yeah. She has lovely honey blonde hair. Um, actually no, it's kind of like, it's like a bright blonde. You know, it's a very... It's like Almost a, like a platinum. Yeah, it's not quite platinum, it's not as like white as platinum, but it is, it's a lovely blonde and it is an elegant waves. Um, one of the accessories she comes with separately that you can place on her yourself is a flower crown, a faux flower crown. Um, it's very cute and it looked really cute in the promos. Um, I do have to say though, in person, it's a little bit more flimsy and doesn't fit on her head as snugly as you'd like it to, so um, it also feels very kind of delicate. Uh, be real careful when you're applying that one, um, because it looks like those little faux flowers were applied with like like glue, and it looks like it wouldn't be that difficult to, for one, like pop off. So yeah, be careful about that. Yeah, they're kind of glued onto a ribbon, so they move around kind of. And she, of course, you know, she has, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes. She has blue eyes, and she's wearing kind of a nude um, eyeshadow, but it has a little bit of a pinkish hue. Um, you know, it's nothing too heavy, and she has arched eyebrows, and a nude lip that appropriately, appropriately is a very nice sugar pink. 
Um, and she's dusted, yeah, with very modest makeup in general, not a ton of blush either. So it's um, it's nice because she doesn't feel, she definitely doesn't feel fresh faced, but it's all kind of nude and pastel tones. Very powdery. Yeah. She has these lovely gold heart-shaped earrings. Super cute. And a lavender bow tie around her neck. I think that's adorable. It's such a little bow peep look. So for her top, she is wearing a very cute robin's egg blue crop top with some nice ruffles down the center trim. And there are these really cute, you know, they almost look like, um, you know, faux pearls. They're like these shiny little embellishments down the trim of the front of the crop top. It's super nice. I love the ruffles on this side of that strip in front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of detail, really nice. Her bracelets, y'all. Her bracelets are so pretty, and of course they come separately. You put them on yourself. Um, the one on her right hand, I am totally obsessed with. So gorgeous. I would go as far as I would go as far as to say this is one of the prettiest bracelets I've ever seen on an Integrity doll. Um, it is a series of little white daisies with shimmery little, you know, like faux gems in the center of each one. Um, they almost kind of give off like different colors in the light. You kind of get hints of like red and pink. Super beautiful, very fitting for her theme. She's very floral. And the other bracelet she comes with, it's actually kind of a series of bracelets. There's four of them, but one of them has a heart-shaped locket on it. And um, actually there's two designs on here. So there's two bands that kind of have these um, like metal stripes on it, while two, the other two have um, these uh, floral engravings on it. She has a skirt which reminds me of a poodle skirt. Um, it kind of like fans out and it's really ruffly and um, it has this very iridescent um, pink shine to it. So metallic. Very yeah. metallic. Mm -hmm. um, and along the edge of the skirt, there's these pink little um, ruffles that goes along in this kind of like wavy pattern. You get all the spun sugar you signed up for right there. I feel like thematically she comes together a lot more fully than Mint Cool Misaki. Mm -hmm. She also has this very um, bright white belt on. I think it really adds to kind of how chic she looks. And to add to that ruffleness, she has this underskirt made up of blue and pink uh, tulle. Yeah, this is really pretty. It's almost a little bit of a bummer. It's like hard to see with the mm -hmm. skirt over because this portion is so pretty. Part of me almost wishes it it fanned out like a little bit underneath the main skirt. I think that would have been really fun. Maybe that would have been too, too busy, but you hardcore Integrity fans um, may recognize her tube socks. Um, these peach colored tube socks were initially advertised as coming with Mint Cool Misaki, if you're a part of the W Club and got that email. Um, but they were actually intended for sponge sugar, um, which is, you know, and W Club sent out an apology email about it and even offered people a refund. But um, yeah, these little peach tube socks come with sponge sugar. Um, and you know, of course they're real fabric socks, super nice, ankle high, and just above her ankle. And she is wearing little, um, they almost kind of look like pumps. Um, yeah, like, you know, high heeled pumps with a very cute, you know, like metallic lavender wedge, um, you know, and lining. Very nice shoes, super lovely. And um, she comes with a stand. It's the same style of stand as Mint Cool Misaki. It has the Fashion Royalty Nippon logo, and you know, it's like a creamy matte white base and a metal rod that you can use to position the doll. So easily one of the cutest accessories she comes with is this adorable cream white backpack that is so like anime Cardcaptor Sakura. <laughs> 
Yeah, Definitely. super cute. It has a little patchwork heart, pink heart with some lighter pink wings on either side. And you know, like most Integrity accessories, it is a real miniature backpack. You can open the zipper, put things inside. I'm just so amazed on like the detailing on some of these balls. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel really bad for the, the people who have to like sew these together. They're so <laughs> tiny. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's definitely like, crazy. this is where the money goes. Yes, and uh, the straps are super cute, so you can actually put it on the doll, and yeah, it's got all the detail of a real backpack. Super legit. All right, so these are our final thoughts on Spun Sugar Misaki. I was kind of sold, like, when we saw the, like, the promo images of her. She, she was very gorgeous. And then, like, a lot of people pointed out, she kind of looks like the, um, the, the My Little Pony, um, girl uh, doll. The one that got away from me. Fluttershy. Yeah. Uh, kind Pegasus oh, was kind, the, okay. yeah. Kind Pegasus. She has, like, kind of, like, the same vibe. Like, we love, like, Japanese culture and, um, mm. fashion. So, it's definitely really fun to see this kind of doll come out. And I still have my same opinion, like, have with like cool mint they're very pretty and they kind of capture something that the regular integrity toys uh, dolls don't have they kind of have a bit more cutesy a bit more playful look to them she also kind of chic she kind of you know she's the more fancy version of like like in terms of, like comparing her to like cool mint and some of the older nippon dolls definitely like went out and bought her as soon as we could and no regrets. She is kind of expensive, though. Um, she I was, kind of we mean very. <laughs> she was eight, I think she was eighteen thousand yen, which at the time came out to be around like one hundred sixty dollars just for the doll, which means she is the most expensive doll we bought so far. Mm -hmm. Plus shipping handling to us was about thirty five dollars each. It was, yeah, so Sang and I's totals were just barely over one hundred and ninety dollars each mm -hmm. per doll. Um, so she is quite pricey, especially if you're, if, you know, ordering her outside of Japan. I absolutely love this doll. Um, I honestly think she might be my current favorite <laughs> Integrity doll, because she's very, very my aesthetic. I love her color scheme, her accessories, her hair. What I like about her, like kind of expanding on Sang's point too, is I, I completely agree that even though she's colorful, even though these are Japan produced and they are more playful and more pastel and you know, different face molds, definitely I would not write this line off as like over the top anime dolls or anything like that because I actually feel like she's a very nice combination of kind of the color and playfulness of Japanese inspired fashion but I don't personally see her as over the top. I definitely agree she's very, she still feels very chic and fashionable. It still feels very true to Integrity Toys. Um, and I think she's stunning, honestly. I think she's incredibly beautiful. Um, I think uh, people who kind of want a breath of fresh air from the usual, the very regal, vogue, sexy kind of look of most Integrity Toys, I think Fashion Royalty Nippon is a really nice alternative. And I hope future releases will become more accessible to fans in the U.S. as well. Yeah, it's funny because they like Nippon is still going on in Japan. Like they released plenty of dolls um, last like few years. Um, they do remind me of like the old school like Dynamite Girls line that Integrity had a while ago. Um, that were more playful, more like street clothes. So I hope you know, seeing how successful these dolls are, that they would continue a bit more of like casual, more like colorful, you know, high-end dolls from the company. So thank you for joining us for our review of Integrity Toys Fashion Royalty Nippon Spun Sugar Misaki. Be sure to let us know what you guys think of her in the comments. If you'd like to see more from Integrity Toys or from Fashion Royalty Nippon, and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't and check out our previous integrity toys reviews in the description and we will see you next time bye, bye.